Welcome back to episode 4 of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. See what I did there last episode? That was unintentional, and I will admit that. But let's continue. Uh, it's been a while. It's been like, I don't know, a week since I made a, a last episode. At least we're trying to produce it because I've been lazy, and as well as uh, there's a lot of things I've come up. And now I'm trying to get into this little chest where there's mumbos. And I keep getting hurt because I keep failing at that. So I get Mumbo's 8 and 9 for at least what it, what I think it is that I've already spent and I got up, back up to number 9. And now I'm going down the stairs. Hooray! Anyways, I want to see if I can actually see or try to keep myself energetic because, yeah, a lot of episodes to produce. And I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go on and produce, I don't know, 10 episodes and start uploading them. So it'll give me 10 days to make more episodes, and especially when spring break is coming up, at least for in real life updates. And now I'll get my jiggy number 6. I believe it's number 6. Yep, number 6. <laughs> Would have been embarrassing if I messed up on there. So, let's continue on. So what else to talk about, really? Because I don't know what else to talk about. There's a lot of things I need to talk about. Oh, fell in the water. So I don't know. Again, first time I'm doing... Let's play all together. Whether or not if I'm gonna be, I'm thinking I'm just gonna produce ten episodes and then just start uploading them. So that way I could just render the videos and then watch the comments as they go by as I'm uploading a vid another video for another day. Not too sure. Anyways, come on, get the jiggy, get the jiggy. Number, 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 number seven. Number seven, lucky number seven jiggy. So, yeah. That's probably how I'm, that's how I'm gonna do it. Make ten episodes, upload them, and look at the comments as I'm uploading and producing more episodes. See if I get feedback, and let's see how everything goes. I don't know why, but I'm just starting to mess with that little mind bomb thing. I forgot what's the name. I know they had a clever name for it, but I just can't remember. You have to see through the credits to remember all the names, because I just didn't want to bother memorizing these names. And I know that's a snippet. And I kill a snippet. There's a honeycomb, honeycomb hive thing, jigger. And this is where I'm gonna fail. Should I swim? Nope. Got exploded by the thing, by the little bomb. And I get another mumble token if I learn how to swim correctly. I hate swimming because I can never do it correctly. And it gets annoying at times because whenever I try to do it correctly as fast as I can, I mess up. And there's just eggs. I wasn't gonna bother with those eggs because, yeah, didn't want to spend too much time. I don't know. Maybe if I actually do become a partner, I'll be doing probably do be doing a live stream. See if I could beat Banjo Kazooie in under three and a half hours. I don't know. I don't know how long you could actually have a live stream. I don't know what's the limit for a live stream, but that would be a, kind of a cool live stream to do. And it's gonna take forever and a day to render it, I believe, because yeah, I just don't have a good computer for that and geez, my dogs are being noisy I hate that go to sleep gosh I'm trying to make a commentary here now they're making much noises so I hit the third X and I go fly because 50 is my limit which is sad I didn't want that to be my limit but it had to be my limit until I find I find something that will help me out later on in the game no spoiler alert. If you guys know who it is, then there you go. I'm just not going to say it here. I want to talk about something else. I just don't want to talk about that character yet. So, there's another snippet. Must kill the snippet. I killed the snippet, but I didn't hit the axe. I wanted to make it a double whammy, but too bad. I couldn't make it a double whammy. And there's a little question mark. So, apparently, that there's the hint of fortifying the last one. I wonder if people actually got confused with finding the last one. I don't know. And now there's a little treasure chest. Please open me gently. Uh, I think that was gentle enough. So, there's my jiggy number eight. We got to get going because I want to get done with this level already. I like Treasure Trove Cove. This is one of my one of my favorite levels to go through. And I believe I have like three other levels of favorites or favoritism, if you want to call it that. There's a little lonely, lonely little note out there, and I must go get it. Join with the backpack. Join with Kazooie that eats jiggies. Where does she... Where does she have room to eat all those jiggies? And why in the world does she eat jiggies? 
Can anyone explain to me if there's a conspiracy going on of the jigging eating Kazooie? And apparently I've been awarded with a gamer picture. This is Xbox, of course, so apparently if you collect 20, or no, 10 Jinjos, you get a little gamer pick. I don't know why. I don't know what's up deal with that. So, there you go, guys. If you want to know how to get a little gamer pick from Banjo Kazooie, there you go. It's free, so I want I want to complain about it because you could you could actually buy more gamer picks, but there would be 80 Microsoft points each or a pack. I don't know. But there's going to tilt the switch. We just pressed your button. That sounded dirty. I'm sorry. Especially when it's Gruntilda we're talking about. Ugh. And then there's a Mumble Token right there. I think Mumble Token has a derpy face going on there. I don't know why. Because if you look closely, it looks like it has derp on its face. And then there's the last, last Jiggy of this level. And then Banjo will do its bow. You deserve it, Banjo. You got all the Jiggies, not Kazooie. Because we didn't help at all. And now I just jumped down. This is where I gotta fail. I didn't and I didn't even know there was I didn't know there was a trophy there. Huh. How nice. But yeah, I completely failed. So how was my landing on that part? Give it a five, give it a six, I would give it a three. It was terrible. There was no form whatsoever. And now we're just gonna leave this level. Goodbye everybody. Uh, just for this level at least. It took me 19 minutes and 26 seconds. I'll try to do better next time. I think that I got a little OCD habit right there because I, I wanted to check twice. It's been a while since I actually looked at these clips. I have no idea what I'm doing now. I'm just going on the go now. So, I'm going to do a backflip. And another backflip. Onto the little thing. Kill the little monkey thing I'm a jigger. I don't even know what its face is. Because I know it has a skull on its back, but it's not a skull of Tula. Those skull of Tula scare the heck out of me, because apparently... A little arachnophobia sets in whenever I look at those video game characters. And I thought it was going to be a mumble token up there. I completely forgot what I was doing at this point. But yeah, I do have arachnophobia, where I'm afraid of spiders. But uh, strangely enough, I'm not afraid of tarantulas. I'm afraid of other spiders, just not tarantulas. Don't know why. This doesn't... It's because probably it's because I actually held a tarantula and I pet one before, so that didn't freak me out. And I don't know why, but I just wanted to get the mumbo token here because I know I'm gonna forget. So yeah. This is where Clock Clock Wood is if you want to explore. But yeah. Apparently I missed the little mumbo token because I have no idea where it was. So yeah. I'm, I got lost. I can't believe I got lost at this point. So, Banjo, you're looking for glum. You're looking so glum. Must be hard being so dumb. So, there's my mumble token I was looking for. Can't believe I missed it. I went to that area and I missed it. That saddens me, really. Yeah, I'm moving around on my desk. My desk is so messy. Messy, messy, messy. I need to clean up my room. But yes, there's my number 12. At least so far, before I spent it, Mumbo Token. I didn't want to count how many there was. I should have counted. I'm sorry for that. So, where am I going? I can't remember where I'm going. Oh, yes. This is where we're going to learn or find another puzzle piece of Clinker's Cavern. If you want to place all your pieces into the picture, just press the right trigger. That would have been useful uh, two puzzles ago. The very first puzzle, you could have told me that. And then there's a mumble token above the pipe. Clanker's Cavern. The first time I actually made a Let's Play, or actually tried to record a Let's Play, I completely skipped third level. I had a feeling that I had to learn some, because I didn't learn a move, as well as that... It felt strange that I remembered the level, but I just completely skipped it. I was ashamed of myself. I actually did the third level for the ninth level. I was It was a slap to the face for me. And when I found that out, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to continue on with the Let's Play. And I figured that since I couldn't even get the one of the files to be read, 
I figured that I was gonna start over once I complete the game. So this is where the whole thing where I talk about that I've beaten it in 8 hours and 37 minutes the first time and now I'm beating it at 5 hours and 37 minutes. This is where the second try or playthrough comes in handy right now. So yeah, like I said, this is gonna be a 100% playthrough, complete 100%, and Hopefully you guys will appreciate the little extra work I've done. Other than that, even though it doesn't affect the leaderboards, it should affect the leaderboards. The leaderboards should have been where you had every single thing. But apparently all you need to do is get the notes and get the jiggies. You don't even have to get all the mumbo tokens. So I went through the extra mile getting mumbo tokens when it wasn't necessary. If they added mumbo tokens into there, there's going to be a place where... If you don't do it right, you're never going to get the mumbo token. No matter how many times or what you do, you're just not going to get it. And when I found out where it is, I'll tell you. But this is Bubble Gloop Swamp. The fourth level you unlock. So I figured why not just unlock it since I have the jiggies. So I don't have to go back there and get everything. And I look around for a mumbo token because again, it's been a while since I played. So there's no mumbo token. So I'll go down swimming, and I swim, 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 back to the surface. <sighs> I can't wait to play Banjo-Tooie, even though it's going to be a while since that I'll make a let's play of Banjo-Tooie. It's going to be fun. I love Banjo-Tooie. I love Banjo-Kazooie, but I love Banjo-Tooie more. They put a lot more effort into Banjo-Tooie, they improved a lot, they brought back all the old elements, and they put in more elements of their own. Just one new move to find in this time, but it's a hidden well. I know where it's at, of course. But climbing up, this is Clinker's Cavern, the third level. And I gotta admit, I'm still kind of freaked out of Clinker. Clinker still scares me a little bit, just because of the way it looks. Even though he's a friendly little guy, I'm actually, I'm actually, I don't know, uh, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called? I'm concerned of how he looks, as well as, when I was little, it did scare me. Not so much now, but when I was little, Clinker actually scared me. Jinjo! There you are! Right behind the honeycomb. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I'm doing at that point. I'm just wasting time. So, let's go swimming again. Because apparently Banjo does the dog paddle. Who knew? There's a lot of things I pay attention now that I actually look after once I actually look at it. But this is where you're going to meet Clanker for the first time, and you will get an achievement. One of the achievements is to free Clanker. That's kind of an easy achievement. That animation right there, that scared me. I thought he would try to I thought he was trying to kill me. But apparently but that's his cry for help. But when when you get closer like that, close, it, it it could bring fear in people. It brought fear to me when I was little, and it still kinda scares me when I think about it now. But I'm not too afraid of him, it's just that yeah, Clanker, you're kinda scary and intimidating. That if anyone would try to help you, you would scare them off. You need to not be intimidating. That's all I gotta say. And I'm talking to a video game character. How lucky am I? And then there's another mumbo token. Got 15 mumbo tokens. This is another level where you don't mean bumbo. I <sighs> can't wait to play Banjo Tooie. That's just on my mind right now. Because if you guys ever play Banjo Tooie, you would know what I'm talking about because Banjo 2 is one of the best games out there too for the Nintendo 64 genre or era. They should bring back the Nintendo 64. I know they brought it, brought you could buy and download them on the Wii, but it's not the same. I don't know if you need a Wii controller for that. I don't know. I got a Wii, and I plan on using it for more Let's Plays, probably GameCube games and Wii games. But until then. This is going to be the end of episode 4 where I'm going to climb up or swim up to the little thing. So, see you then.